Do you love your job? Do you think anyone does? Well, it used to be that jobs were something you just had to do. I believe that if you're investing most of your life in there, longer than you spend with your family, with your spouses, you absolutely have to love what you do. In last week's video blog, I talked about strengths-based leadership and how we can play to our strengths, but I believe that's only part of the puzzle. Just because you're good at something doesn't mean you love it. What I believe you can do, what I believe everybody can do, is find something they absolutely love to do that plays to their strengths. And it may be something very different. I'll give you my own example. I started out as a nuclear physicist. and. You know what, it's, I, I, I enjoyed it, it was neat. The thing that I, I discovered is I'm very good at working through complexity and finding the simplicity in it. Now, that's a strength, that is my strength. But it wasn't my passion. What I discovered over time, my passion is people. And people, organizations are incredibly complex. And what I discovered is that I can use my ability to navigate complexity, to find my way through these complex things in working with people, in working with organizations. I can help them find the pathway to what really works well for them. And that's what I'm passionate about. So I found the strength which I discovered as a nuclear physicist and I'm applying it to working with people, working with our organizations to create much more purposeful, much more meaningful lives for themselves, for everyone in their lives. And that's what I challenge you to do is look at your strengths, but then see where could I use those strengths? What are other places, other contexts where I could apply those strengths and that could bring me joy? Because honestly, you invest more of your time at work than you do with anything else in your life other than sleeping. And sometimes it's more than sleeping. So what, what I would challenge you to do is say, okay, what am I good at? And then how can I connect that to what brings me joy? You know, start to look outside the box. I mean, how much more outside the box can you get than going from nuclear physics to working coaching individuals to helping organizations strategically reinvent themselves to be more purposeful, to be more dynamic? How much more out of the box can you get? So I encourage you to start looking out of the box and say, where can I take my strengths? Where can I leverage them? And really bring that joy, bring that passion to life. So it becomes not just thank God it's Friday, which is awesome, but also thank God it's Monday. How can you create more joy, more passion in your life so you're excited for what you're doing? Drop a note in the comments and share with me what you discover and what you found already in the past that brings you that joy.